wonderful areas. So, yep, I'm looking forward to, to spending some time in those areas too. Yeah, very nice. So your inauguration to the, to the Dice is on the, the 8th of December, is that correct? 8th of December, the Feast of uh, uh, the Immaculate Conception. Of course. Yeah, yeah we've, got, we've got another uh, ordination of a bishop in November, which is Bishop Marcus Stock going to Leeds. Yeah. So uh, we had to wait a little bit because we can't keep having ordinations. So uh, the, when you're appointed, you get three months, really, to, right. to make sure you get installed. So that seemed to be about the right measure of time. So are you are you kind of excited about this new venture? That I mean, there's there's a lot a lot of things I'm getting excited about now. I, I must say that last Tuesday, uh, coming up to uh, for the announcement, uh, I was um, very nervous really, but I was made so welcome and uh, the feelings were good and I saw some lovely things going on and um, so uh, yeah, I'm getting much more excited about it now. And, and uh, Bishop Terence. Has, is obviously he's kept the place going in very good order and it's not as if I'm coming into a diocese where it's not had a bishop for a couple of years or um, so a, a major problem. Yeah, which is of course what he had to do when he came. That's when, right. When Bishop yeah. Kelly became Archbishop, I think we were 18 months without a bishop, so that's what... Yeah, bishop and that's really unsettling for any, any diocese. No matter how dedicated your administrator might be, you know, he can't make the big decisions and... Uh, People can feel a bit adrift, so it's it's wonderful to have this uh, handover. And Bishop Terence has been really generous in what he's had to say and the time he's given me. And we'll be talking more before the December, December handover. I'm sure that must be a, a kind of a, a great thing for you as well. That you know you've got this handover and you're not yeah. into something cool. So that yeah, yeah. and I, I I know I've known a Bishop Terence for for the last eight years in the bishops' conference and. Um, I have to say that one of the best things about being a bishop in, in England and Wales is the other bishops. They're a great crowd, and I've learned a lot from them, and, and uh, Bishop Terence would be one, one of the people I, I've, I've learned from. So uh, it, it's great now to, to feel that uh, he's happy to have me moving in and happy to move into his own retirement, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good time for handover. Very good. Now, just for our listeners, it's only really been a few days since... Uh, since the announcement was made in the diocese, and I can tell you, Bishop John, that the the joy shown at the announcement of your appointment, I think, will only be matched by the welcome that I know you'll receive when you eventually come and join us. It's really heartwarming. I'm, I'm delighted. I'm very encouraging. Uh, I'm delighted. I, I've had literally hundreds of of emails and letters and cards and phone calls, yeah. and uh, I, I just think, yeah. It, so many people feel this is the right time and uh, I'm, I'm the right person to do the job. I do hope so, and I hope I can equip myself well. Oh, I'm sure you will. Now, listen, I'm, I, I'm sure there are many questions that priests and parishioners and people who work for the diocese, they'd love to ask at this point, but I don't think that's the right thing to do here. I think that's for another time. I just wanted this interview to be a much more really of a hello and a welcome to the diocese with no pressure about you know the ideas that you might have for the future. Sure, I, th I think that's that's why I, I don't know enough, yeah. uh, and, I, and I certainly can't make decisions without a lot more consultation and thought and reflection. Yeah, well, we we just want you to arrive in good time, and we want you to settle in and be welcome to our diocese, and we want our diocese to become your new comfort zone. Well, I'd be, be delighted to think it will be, and and from from the welcome I received last week, that's. Uh, certainly something that looks very positive and, and very probable for me and I'm very grateful for that Well that's great to hear Listen Father John I've taken up enough of your time and I just want to thank you once again uh, very much on behalf of all the, the gang down at Heavens Road FM and I'm sure that there will be many people from the Salford Diocese listening in to, to your words today and on their behalf, on our behalf thank you for your time Thank you and I hope to be able to, to, to speak to you again and uh, to think about the future and to, to reflect on it with you. Thank you. God bless you now. Well, wasn't he delightful? At one point in that interview, he mentioned since the announcement, you know, people have been sending cards and well, wishing him well, and he's had hundreds of emails. So, do you know, I'd really like to thank him for responding to my email that was crammed in among all those others that he'd received. And it was a simple request, really, for the interview. 
So I'm delighted. He was a lovely speaker. Very, I felt very relaxed with him, and that's superbly really because he's going to be my new boss. So I'm delighted um, that he gave me that time, and I just found him so easy to speak to. And it's really just for me to, I suppose, finish really by once again wishing him all the very, very best for his future as the new Bishop of Salford. And on behalf of all of us, I can assure him of our prayers. And I would also like to ask for all our listeners, if you would be so kind as to keep Bishop John Arnold in your prayers. He is going to need it. It's uh, The job of Bishop is a really tough job. But please, God, he is the man to lead Salford forward. And of course, we uh, leave all the decisions of, of this kind not just to the Holy Father, but to the Holy Spirit. So we know that we've been blessed with the right man for the right time. So please keep him in your prayers. And it just goes for me to say God bless to you all. And I hope that you have enjoyed this little chat with our new bishop, Bishop John Arnold, the new bishop of the Salford Diocese. Till next time, God bless you all. <laughs>